Dying Light 2. I see bandits and a lot of bodies, Sophie. I'm sorry. I knew it. I knew those motherfuckers would betray us. Huh? What am I saying? Fuck the maiden. Kill them all. <laughs> okay, guys. So my audio is, dis is distorted. And we are going to avenge Sophie's uh, crew. Because I think Jack and Time to get some other boneheaded it. motherfucker uh, decided to turn their backs on us, take over the water, and kill everybody. So we're going in. And we're going ape shit on them, okay? Me and Alfred are sizing them up right now. It's time to go in. Watch me with my spear. <laughs> yeah, boy. Let's go. Let's get down and dirty with it. All right, so we are about to start going ape. About what to go crazy on them, I'm telling you. Let's get on and drop down. Let's go for it. So. Oh, yeah. Jack and Joe's thug. Yeah, Jack and Joe. That's who did Bro, it. Bro, where are the other ones? What? And obviously, I don't know where Alfred's at. And also, his audio is messed up. It didn't record. So I'm on my own, in the dark, not sure what's going on. Trying to find these other motherfuckers to uh, attack. Oh, yeah, you dead, buddy. You dead. Ooh. Chopping that head right off. <laughs> <laughs> Made it. There are no survivors. Yeah, they done, they done messed everybody up. Them fucking animals. They want, she wants me to find the crystals because Susie had them. I'm going to tell you now, I don't think they're going to be there. Look at all these bodies, bro. Bodies everywhere. Laid out in the streets like a damn riot. Man, they really just had to just bust it up. Susie? Carl, they took Carl. What? Where? To their camp. We must. Susie? Susie! Where are the crystals? Susie! Bleh. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, y'all. This is so stupid. I know. But, hey, audio got jacked up. So. so they, they, they got her. They done birdie bad. Here's the crate that's supposed to have the crystals. They're not there. Just some rocks. And they've done kidnapped Carl. Oh, yeah. Here was this guy. This 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 big MF right here. This sick bastard. Just big as shit for no reason. Like that Chinese dude off of Rush Hour. I don't know what they fed him, but he was too big. But that you thing's know, sparking. Oh no. But you know, me and Alfred, we're gonna do our thing. We ain't punks. I might get smacked around a little bit, but we're gonna fight back. <laughs> that was a nice dodge, wasn't it? Yes, yes, it was. Look at look 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 at look at him just swinging like crazy. Oh. Oh, he hit me. Yeah, I. I got oh, it. I'm on fire. No. It, it got bad quick for me. No. Uh oh. I was talking all that crap and it Alfred, went downhill so, down. so fast. Uh -huh. They're really guarding my body. I can't believe it. Sick, bro. What? Since when did AI zombies learn how to camp a, a bleeding out body and like just camp it so for no revivals? Nasty work. So now Alfred's doing his thing because he's way more leveled up than I am. So I'm just going to probably bleed out right here, I think, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, no. Ugh. Yeah. Duh. Did I really do that? I really did. Yeah, I bled out. And it said lethal fall. I ain't died from no damn lethal fall. All right, let me, let me respawn. You can see how eager I sound. <laughs> All right, time to hop back into the mix. Thankfully, he's facing away from me. I get some free back shots, like I'm Diddy. Pause. There I go again. Look at him just fold like a lawn chair. <laughs> why, do you, why do you fall like that? <laughs> Yeah, yeah, see, I mentioned it. I mentioned it, because he, he, 
man. The way he folded. Look, I mean, look at them legs, bro. They folded. And I don't know why they're making this Hershey's bodies for the crystals. Because why would Jack and Joe and his thugs leave them in, on the bodies? No sense. And also, what am I doing? Why'd I throw that? I threw a firecracker, bro. Like, I was going to do something. Mink, mink. Yeah, hit him with a little mink mink. Take his head off. Look at me, I jumped up on him. Hit him again with a mink mink. Get slaughtered, son. Yeah, right now we just out here murking zombies because we're supposed to be searching the dead human bodies to see if any of them dropped them crystals. Are you trying to box with a real one? You trying to box with a real one? I'm getting excited because... Violence, combat, testosterone. <laughs> Look at me. Look at me. I'm in here spam blocking like I'm a. Bro, that scared me just now. Why is Alfred flying through like he freaking uh, Shawn Michaels in his prime? <laughs> Alright, we've searched all the bodies. There are no crystals. Hey, Sophie, everything's been taken. Probably took them before you got there. Everything's gone wrong. All right, enough of this playing defense. Let's meet by Jack and Joe's camp on the roof by the overpass. That's what I'm talking about. We gonna take some charge now. Cause we blaming Carl, Your katana. we blaming Jack, we blaming Joe. Yeah. Cause Jack and Joe out, they played us. All and right, Carl's a terrible so... leader, straight up. <laughs> it's like Hakan's talking crap. Talk, talking about Sophie. <laughs> it's not. I'm sure Alfred says something hilarious here, but unfortunately, it's I didn't record. <laughs> I don't think so. Be it as it may, we are live. <laughs> yeah, he said something dubious, bro. It had to be something backwards and nasty for, for me to come at that. Don't worry. After this, I believe his audio is fixed from now on in the next upcoming videos and recordings. Um, my narration is going to end soon because audio should be fixed. We are just simply doing parkour across the way so we can go to Jack and Joe's camp for our beloved wife, Sophie. Probably one of the most beautiful women in this game. They have... They, they, all right. Blonde, blonde hair and blue eyes. They, they did it justice with her in this game. 100%. Um, I'm already at this. I'm already at the story mission, so. All right, so let me go on and talk to Herman's big buffoon, deaf, big eat meat eating ass. All he do is grumble. I mean, I know. That man can't help it. He deaf. He don't talk. <laughs> You need help over there, Alfred? <laughs> and now I'm waiting on Alfred. I should have made him just teleport to me, but I didn't. But, nonetheless, that is eight minutes of me bullshitting. Here we go. Hey, Herman. <clears throat> Where's Sophie? <sighs> hey, why were you on the mission? Friends could have used you. <clears throat> okay. Well, I guess that means I should wait here. <gasps> Flashback, aren't we? Yeah. Aiden, what's the matter with you? 
Mia, where are you? Bro, where is this girl leading us? Oh my god. Mia. Oh no. 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 Jack and fucking Joe will pay for what they did. I had a bad feeling about it from the start. I had a feeling Carl's plan sucked, and yet I let him lead. Why didn't you send Herman on the mission? They wouldn't have stood a chance against that beast. Him? He's strong, but as helpless as a child. It's one damn big child. <laughs> you don't understand. Herman's almost deaf. He used to be my mother's bodyguard. Has been around us as long as I can remember. And after she died, he stayed close to us. One time, the lights in my shelter went out. The infected broke through a window. Herman blocked the path and tossed a grenade into a nearby infected. He survived the explosion, but lost his hearing. In a face-to-face -face battle, he's nearly unbeatable. But if he's caught from behind, he's as vulnerable as a child. A killer combination, especially for him. That's why I prefer to keep an eye on him. Sometimes I wonder if he's watching over me, or I'm watching over him. Right, so what's the plan now? And get to From it. now on, I'm following my gut. Last time something like this happens on my watch. If you'd hurried back there, maybe some of our guys would have made it. I thought a pilgrim like you was supposed to run like a fucking gazelle. Barney, shut up! What? If he'd have made it in time to help, we'd be having a party. Not a wake. In case you change your mind. He can be a real pain in the ass. But we'll do something good for the city one day. Oh, is you tweaking over there? Birdie, to your health. If you manage to take out those bandits, it... Jack Cock and Joe Cunt. You think killing Messrs. Cock and Cunt will change something? Death usually changes a lot in a person's <laughs> life. Carl was wrong. We should have gone after them right away. But right or wrong, we have to help him. He's one of us. We'll rescue him and retrieve the crystals from Jack and Joe. Besides, I won't let them get away with killing my people. Ralph, Susie, Logan, Birdie, they deserve revenge. And Jack and Joe sentence them to death. So they'll die. Your radio. Yeah, it picks up static sometimes. Go see Alberto. He can fix stuff like that on the spot. Thanks. Hey, Tor here. Leave, but make sure no one sees you. You two make a pretty pair, Aiden. I'm on the roof nearby. We have to talk. Now. It's about saving your life. Well, then. I'll tear them apart. I swear. <laughs> I'll gut them. I've heard everything. Let's talk. What do you want? I don't like what's going on here, Aiden. First Jack and Joe's bandits killed Carl's people. Now Sophie's getting ready to retaliate. You're not a part of that, are you? But you said you wanted me to get close to them. I'm gonna search Sophie's camp. That's why I came to warn you. Rumors have started. You found the Lazarus for me. They may suspect you of being a PK spy. Lovely. You came here just to warn me? You helped me with the Lazarus. And I take care of my allies. Sophie's just fighting for water, that's all. I don't think she suspects anything. <laughs> you think so? She hates the peacekeepers. She blames us for not helping the bazaar. And for her mother's death. So when we start questioning her people, 
you better be careful. Thanks for the warning. You gain any intel for our investigation? Sophie's also wondering who killed Lucas. What else would she say? They know if we can prove they killed Lucas, it'll be a bloodbath. Find out from Sophie when she's planning the attack. Keep me informed where you are. Be careful. I better look for her. I fell. Just the this! <laughs> hey, have you seen Sophie? Sophie? Uh, yes, she went... Uh, she said that... Uh, she went that way. Exactly! Thanks. Wait! <laughs> There's more! One more thing! Something's wrong with the... Uh, not working with the... It's broken! That... Uh, oh. Dad's asking if there's something wrong with your radio? Oh, uh, it hisses sometimes, but as long as it works, no point messing with it. Um, can I ask you a question? Sure. Call me Aiden. Vincenzo. Uh, Aiden? How do you become a pilgrim? Does that mean you're a murderer? Vincenzo! Why... What do you... Why would you... <laughs> Dad, I'm asking because I'm curious. <laughs> Will you tell me, Aiden? I'm not that exciting. I've had to kill people, but I'm not a murderer. All being a pilgrim is to me now is a means to an end. To what end? Vincenzo, leave him alone! To find the only family I've ever known. Did you? Not yet. But I might be close. I hope you succeed. I've never found Federico. Who? Federico. He was my best friend. We were like brothers. We'd known each other forever. He disappeared like the other kids because of those fucking tests. Tests? But you mean GRE tests? You heard that when they built the walls, they were trying to create a vaccine here? It all fell apart in a couple of weeks. One day, Federico vanished into thin air. We'd been playing football. I went to my house after that. He went home too. And I never saw him again. Well... I'm sure they took him. And that's not all. You see... He wasn't the only child who went missing that winter. I hope he's alive. And that you find him someday. Yeah, same. <laughs> I'm here. How's your radio? Working now? Sometimes it works. Sometimes, no. Roll the dice. Susie, Logan! I swear I'll tear them apart and eat the pieces! Bertie! Ralph! To your health! I love you! What now? Do you remember the beginning of the fall, Aiden? <laughs> Vaguely. I remember it as if it were yesterday. We had been defending the church against infected for some time. My mother was in charge. She was losing dozens of people every day. She was keeping everyone alive while I was keeping an eye on Barney. She begged the peacekeepers for help. But they ignored her. Eventually, she was injured. It was dawn. They led me to her. To the roof of the sacristy. She saw me and made me promise to look after my brother. She said it as if she was lending me a car and asking me to have it returned intact. After that, she appointed Carl as her successor, with me at his side. You'll grow up to be a far better leader than Carl, she said. But while the world is burning, people won't listen to someone so young. She was wrong. I've been thinking like that all my life. But not anymore. Now I understand my mother. You have to be ruthless to be a leader. I wasn't ready then. I am now. 
I think I know what you're talking about. And I know what loss is like. Talking about someone in particular? <laughs> about my sister. I'm sorry. Yeah, maybe you don't have to be. We'll find out. That's why you came to town. For her. Yeah. Sophie, we have to talk. Time to act. The quicker we do this, the less prepared Jack and Joe will be. Aiden. Aiden. <laughs> and we started on the wrong foot. This dude's just so a sip drunk. of courage. Should you be drinking this much before the mission, Barney? Me? <laughs> I got the toughest liver in Philidor. Worry more about yourself, Pilgrim. Where's Sophie? There. On the rooftop. I'm watching you, Pilgrim. <laughs> You're no kidding. When did she get over there so quick? Oh my god. Stop you, man. You're getting. <laughs> Apparently, the peacekeepers are watching us. Well, let them see what happens to Jack and Joe, and that we can do it to them, too. Well, you said it was time to act. We're acting. I sent three scouts towards the camp. Carl and the crystals must be somewhere inside the building. Most are probably asleep. There are a few entrances to the camp. The front one, suicide. It's got the most guards. You go in first, we'll move in from the other side. And then we'll catch them in a pincer movement. If anything goes wrong, we retreat to our base. Where? The Tango Motel. Tango? <laughs> Aiden. They attacked our safe house. Who? Are you serious, Sophie? You have my men there. Find Carl. Save him and get our crystals. Fast. I'll do what I can. That's so right. What's he thinking? It is so <laughs> Oh, I was going to sneak. Hit them all. You ain't got shit on me. Sweet God. 
find the lieutenant. So you're trying to blind him, brother, with that. Pilgrim. Where's everyone else? They were attacked. Where are the crystals? Over there. Radio Sophie, fast. Sophie, I have Carl. He's okay. What about you guys? Sophie? Sophie, are you there? You have to help the maiden. Where should I go? Tango Motel. Sophie's hideout is there. Run, fast. Bro, I'm having, to, I'm having to be Superman trying to save these people. I'm glad you showed up. Hey then, I heard some noises coming from Jack and Joe's little village. That's not all, Hakon. Sophie and Barney's hideout was attacked. It could be peacekeepers. Fuck. Remember what you're here for, Aiden. We were supposed to get into the central loop and not get involved in local conflicts. Don't get involved in this. Go back to the metro. We will share what we have with Aitor, and maybe he will let us pass. Go and meet Sophie. I have to go, Hakon. I promise to help Sophie. Besides, that's the only way to get to the truth. Okay. I'll be in touch. So we still don't even know who actually killed the commander. That's something he really wants to know from us. Oh my god. Shit. I'm too late. Sophie! Barney! You there? <laughs> Sophie? God, Sophie, report in. going on report in this is Aiden your men are dead oh shit oh damn it Aiden I was actually starting to like you you brought the peacekeepers here I helped you you betrayed us and now we have to kill you. Helped Aitor and yourself. Helping us was just a byproduct. What are you waiting for? 
Don't know what to do? Dog. Hey, Barney! Barney, wait! You don't want- Y'all don't want this smoke. Y'all may think y'all do, but... Figures. Looking for Sophie. Sophie. Damn it! This isn't about you, Herman. Get out of my way. Kill Herman. Herman, give it up. Let me talk to Sophie. Something tells me Alfred abandoned me. Well, you're just letting me get the one on one. Light work. Catch! Always where you need me, huh? <laughs> Thanks, Akon. the uncool way. Oh. Right. Barney, kid. Find Barney. Barney? Come out! Come on, man! I will find you! for a cheap shot. <laughs> hey, if you ask nicely, I'll shoot you in the head. And if not, you'll spend a long time dying until you turn. So, you'll be the one dying, Barney. Barney, you're supposed to stop him, not kill him. Give me the weapon. Give it to me, brother. <sighs> Hope you know what you're doing. So this is the thanks I get for helping? Death is how we thank traitors. You didn't say you were working for Aiden. I don't work for Aiden. I work for myself. No one can remain neutral in this, Aiden. We're fighting for survival. Without water, the whole bazaar will die in under a month. And the peacekeepers, they won't help us. Just like when my mother died. Why do you think they I chose to come here instead of going to Aiden? Turns out, you're one of them. You don't care about us. Tell me, why should I not kill you? Sophie, shoot! What are you waiting for? Because we can help each other. Who killed Lucas? He thinks we killed him. Sophie, talk to me. Did you do it? No. Sophie, what the hell? Why do you care about this murderer? What did Ator promise you? Ator promised me passage to the center. That's why I'm helping him. 
And you believe him? Just like that? At least he didn't try to kill me. He wasn't the one you betrayed. But I can help you too. Help us with the water, and I'll take you to the central loop myself. Okay, first, I did not betray you. I'm helping investigate a murder, and that's different. As for your offer, isn't the only way through controlled by the PK? There is another way. Do you really believe that I just trust you again? We need each other. You didn't tell us you were working with the PK, so we made assumptions. Things are getting more dangerous, and we all need to be careful. You tried to kill me, Sophie. I swear on the memory of Bertie, Susie, Logan, Ralph, and Herman, I'm sure. If you help us, we'll take you to the center. Will you help? Fine. What's the plan? <laughs> we have a chance to take the tower and finally reclaim the water. I think the fucking Ator does. We'll deal with the peacekeepers and getting you to the center immediately afterwards. First, we need to secure access to water. How do I get up the tower? It's almost impossible without a winch, and Joe's men sealed off access. That's why I'm asking you. So you want me to climb it? If you do, you'll save a great many people, Aiden. We won't forget this. Bro, I don't know. I don't know how Herman is alive, dog. That man is crazy.